Now, reporter Leland Pinder continues our storm coverage tonight. He's live in Aston, Delaware County, where a tree fell into a car trapping a driver. And Leland, this was the second deadly incident today. Yeah, that's right, Rick. And Pennell Road here in Aston Township just reopened. Crews just cleared the scene after being here for several hours today. And the police chief here just told me it was a 70 year old man who died here earlier this evening when that tree fell on his car. Aston Township firefighters on the scene tonight on Pennell Road in Delaware County. Around 630, this large tree came down on top of a vehicle. A crane had to be brought in to remove it. Sources tell Action News it's now a recovery effort, and the medical examiner's office is on scene. Condolences to the family, first and foremost. Yeah. Um, it's never good to hear somebody lost their life, especially due to like a natural disaster like that. Tragically, a similar scene earlier in the evening in Collegeville. Police say an 82 year old woman was killed when a tree crushed her car at Main Street and 9th Avenue as she waited for the light to change. Fire department had the jaws of life and they were trying to cut the driver out of the car when I came out. Busy City Avenue and Wynwood closed after a downed tree blocked the road. At MLK Drive near Sweet Briar this morning, this gold Buick also a victim of a toppled tree easily uprooted by saturated ground. They have been coming down in the high winds, especially this year because of the moisture. The rising waters of the Schuylkill River just barely breaching the banks at Riverfront Park in Norristown. In Philadelphia, minor flooding is expected. The river is expected to crest around 11 feet in the early hours of Thursday morning. Street closures already in place in Maniunk and on Kelly Drive. And back here live in Aston Township, police did not identify the victim who died this evening, but they said that the tree came down as he was moving and he likely had no time to react to the situation. Live in Aston Township in Delaware County, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Leland, thank you. Well, this is the moment a tree came crashing down in a Bucks County neighborhood earlier today. An Action News viewer captured the moments the large tree suddenly fell here in Warminster Township, landing on top of a shed. And this video shows a tree blocking part of Henry Avenue in East Falls as people were trying to drive home tonight. Well, if you see rain is headed your way, be sure to download the 6ABC app. It'll give you a live look from Storm Tracker 6 radar, plus access to the latest forecasts from our team of meteorologists.